Hello everyone and welcome to Summit Point Raceway. We are going to be doing an average Joe lap in two different fashions uh, this time. So we're actually going to show off two laps where I shift at different points and two different things just to show you a way you can uh, race this track. These times probably won't uh, win you the race, but they'll at least keep you competitive. So as we begin our lap, we hurtle down the long front straightaway down into turn number one, which is a sharp right-hander shifting all the way from fifth down to fourth into third. Take the corner in third, you can do it in second. We'll do that in the next lap. Run a little bit wide, but that's okay. Uh, that is a common area for dive bombing, so watch your opponents going into that corner. And it's also a key place for aggression. Now here's one of the crucial corners because it's deceiving. It looks like a large sweeper, but you see the curbing comes and bends out and meets you. So be careful when getting to that point. Then you just lightly lift off the throttle, maybe a little brake, and then right as you are turning, get on the brakes to get ready for the carousel. The carousel is the most technically challenging part of the course. I'm gonna do this lap in second gear to gain a little bit more torque as I go uh, through, but you can see oversteer is a problem as all the power gets put down and there's just not enough grip. Then coming through uh, the end of the carousel, you work your way around back to the uh, pedestrian bridge where you will find the last corner as we approach you come down the hill you get the brake slightly to orient yourself into the corner and then slide across use all of the track get a little bit above the curbing so you can get your momentum going down the front straightaway so here we go for lap number two I'm gonna do this one slightly differently you can see a 125 446 that's not bad it's not the greatest lap ever but it's not bad dive into the corner we go all the way down to second for this one to get some extra torque to accelerate out but you see i have to shift midway through the exit which can uh, knock off a little bit of time and kill some momentum especially because of the turbocharger in these cars uh, going through this little corner again be careful you don't want to slide it too much or you're going to end up in that gravel trap which is very very close uh, now this corner is also very challenging because you are uh, getting off the gas, getting the weight off the rear of the car, and getting on the brakes. So snap oversteer is an issue as you enter into the carousel. As you see here, I do the entire carousel in third gear. You're pulling about 4,500 RPMs, which is just in range of the turbocharger. So you can get a decent pull off the corner. I always lose time in this part. If you can master that section of the course, you can make up a lot of time. And then, just as before, we we're going to come cruising down underneath the pedestrian bridge, set ourselves up, put in a little bit of brake, swing the car around, let it slide across and over the curbing. And those are two different ways to do a lap at Summit Point Raceway. That was a 125.480. Uh, that is most likely two to three seconds slower than the fastest people can do a lap here. But in road racing, thankfully, you can be about three seconds off of the fast pace and you will be competitive. You might not win the race, but you'll be able to finish pretty decent in the field if you can maintain uh, that ground, especially if there are a lot of cars in the race or the race is really long. It's all about endurance and attrition and less about speed. Summit Point, very uh, technical track. Uh, the speeds are fairly low, especially because most of the track consists of this carousel. You see me go a little bit wide there. I uh, don't really want to do that. On this go around, since this race that we are previewing for has a pit stop, I'm going to show you how to enter the pits. So we're coming out of the carousel now, thinking about heading into the pits, coming around that right hander, heading towards the pedestrian bridge and you'll see the pit road entrance off to the right we dab the brakes a little too early trying to find it and you just kind of come into the pit lane um so there you go that is a couple of laps around the summit point raceway and hopefully you guys learned something from this video and have a wonderful day